Update 5 just dropped inside of King Legacy. And they added a myriad of things, including revamped swords, some brand new awakens, a huge amount of changes, and even C3. There is finally a new C for us to explore. So if you have been ready and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started because I want to get the C3. Let's do it. All right. So apparently what you want to do to get the C3, I bet you have to get level 4,000 first if you're a newer player. And once you do that, I think once we head all the way over to the top island over here, I'm just following the quest tracker. I think it should point me in the correct direction. It doesn't look like it. Where do I go? Ah, uh, here it is. Okay, it's over here on the map. The bottom left of the starting island. Okay, so let's talk to the squid. I need you to defeat Kraken Tentacle. Okay. How? How? <laughs> One moment. Wait a second. There's an island over here that wasn't here before. One second. What is this over here? Because they removed the Halloween island. This is where the Halloween island was. What are you? Mystery altar. You need heart of the sea in order to start this quest. So I need a heart of the sea. Where do I get a heart of the sea? <laughs> do I talk to you? We have dialogue. Okay, not you. Okay, so apparently I do need to head to the last area. There's there's a craft I can do at the mansion at Dress Rosa. I had to look it up because it didn't say anywhere how you did it. In game. Apparently once you get here, if you head through this trap door in the ceiling you can talk to this npc why is everything so hidden and there's a few things you can craft here. you can craft a diamond key which requires three platinum keys which are kind of expensive to get and then some you know iron and scrap which is nothing and you can also make heart of the sea here which requires undead pile of bones fish logs seeking blood and feathers all of which i already have so i'm guessing i'm gonna go ahead and craft that can i craft more than one i can well i'll craft more than one in case they're tradable i can probably trade to someone maybe i don't know but there we go um heart of the sea i'm also gonna go ahead and set my i can't go down there we go i'm gonna set my spawn here so i gotta fly back every time and apparently what i need to do is once i get this i need to head back to that mysterious altar island which i'm just gonna do my private server because i don't want to get jumped by somebody doing this okay, let's see so i have the thing i want to go ahead and use heart of the sea to summon kraken tentacle to defeat it this should spawn in a bunch of kraken tentacles around here that total about like 500,000 health so it should be pretty easy actually yeah look at that oh that is awesome this is cool i'm gonna focus one at a time yeah honestly this is kind of cool. Probably gonna take me a bit because they nerfed all the damages, but I mean, shoot, if this was um, last update's Nightblade, I'd probably one shot each tentacle with, with one singular attack. So I can kind of see why they might have nerfed it. I think that one's dead. Okay, that one's dead. That's one arm. This is gonna take a bit. And honestly, this thing doesn't really hit you that much. I'm gonna go ahead and equip Sophie's glasses so for the extra damage. The fruit, because that's the only thing that's actually dealing damage right now. All right, that's another tentacle. Yeah, another one down. Just three left. This is honestly not that difficult, but I bet this is a boss you would normally solo anyway. Okay, two left. Okay, now there's just one left. Yeah, they have about like 50,000 each. I only have a minute left to do it. It's timed. Okay, that's what the challenge is. I wasn't even realizing. I was just doing it kind of slow. There's a minute and a half left, so I have time. Oh, yeah, that's timed. That's why that's difficult. Okay. Because of that, I got the title Kraken Challenger, and then I got this item right here. Kraken's Cash. Very interesting. Okay, alternative question. Can I spawn another? I can't. You only, you only get to fight it once? Aw. Well, hopefully Kraken's in C... Uh, three a lot. That wasn't too bad of a boss fight. That seems kind of like a waste to have you only do it once. You know, if you actually succeed the first time, of course. All right, then. Well, let's head back to the squid guy. And upon talking to him, I can go to third C. Now, will this work? Because I said that it doesn't work in yeah, peace servers. But hey, cutscene. I like it. They're getting more cinematic with things. Uh, this is going to have us go under the water. Yeah, we have the bubble around the ship. Like Fishman Island. Is, is C3 going to be Fishman Island? Just like a bunch of Fishman Island related things. Oh, you know, it works now. Okay, good. I'm actually in C3 on private server. I hope it is because that'd be a really cool little idea. Like the entire third sea is underwater instead of just being another like a bunch of islands. Let's see. Ooh, nice little area. Okay, well, there's like coral and ships. I think this might be underwater. Yeah, look at this like seagrass and stuff. Ooh, a shell. I'm, I'm getting so distracted. Okay, that's probably for a quest. Really cool. Okay, what's your NPC? Armament colors. Okay, this is you again. There's a spawn NPC here. We can spawn on our boat. We can go back to C2 via that NBC. Yeah, this is definitely underwater. Daily quest. Um, tick, 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 human. Can you solve it? 
Puzzle Mania. Fish, Kraken, Coral, Sea Beast. Solve C's puzzle. What? You picked up fish. So I gotta like give you... I'm so confused. One second. Can you solve it? By sorting these out. Easy peasy for sea traveler. What do I do? Do I gotta like... Do I gotta like put them here? I already forgot what the order was. So I'm just gonna put them in a spot and hope it works. I understand now. So I have to get these little things and I've put them on these. You cannot jump with it. My lord. Puzzle incorrect. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is gonna take a minute. One second. I already forgot what the puzzle was. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep changing the order till it works. And that was right. Awesome. It was fish, shell, sea beast. Well, cool. So we got some levels for that. And I should probably actually go ahead and equip my EXP crown. So I gain more levels faster. Well, that's a cool little NPC. And more people up here, what are you? Drago, you are the stat reset NPC and you are the race NPC. I'm gonna find everything. Okay, who are you? Daily quest. 4,000. Kill three fugitives. Okay, let's do that because that's a lot of experience. Also, should I use one of these? It's 300 level for 12 hours. Yeah, I'll use one. They're, they're like very non-tradable anyway. Let me also go ahead and equip ATK because I think that might be good for grinding or not. Yeah, everything in this island is gonna be quite tanky, isn't it? Earn two point. Oh, I earned bounty for killing a bot. <gasps> okay. I didn't read that in the update log because I'm blind, but still... Awesome, so you can get bounty from killing bosses now. That's gonna be nice. I might actually be able to work my way up to Hunter Blade if it's still available. I actually don't even know if you can still get it or not. But then I got two fugitives. This is also giving me battle pass experience for the new battle pass. So I'll work my way through this actually quite fast. We're already at uh, six of 35. I will have to get used to the new ATK though because it's used very differently from how it was before. Awesome, there we go. Five, six, seven more levels. Awesome, really good. So I'm gonna keep putting my stuff into sword because not like I can get max melee anyway. Let's see what else there is. There's an NPC up here. You are Black Market. Okay, you're the... Yeah, you're this NPC. Anything in here? I'll go ahead and buy you and you. Oh, they removed the gem cost. Well, that's good because I, I plan to use my gems on something soon and I have a lot of money, so I should be fine with that. What are you? Oh, okay, you're Raid. Never mind. That's for all the raids. Daily quest here. Level 4,000 again. Defeat 12 da divers. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. You guys are not fun. Ooh, I still got sea artifacts. Interesting. I wonder what those are for. Brand new materials. A common material. Oh, yeah. These guys are fun. They also changed the ice and snow models, I'm pretty sure, for the icons. I'm getting a hang of this. The new weapons. But there you go. Bunch of levels there up to 417 now. I will keep looking. I must find everything new. I'm determined. Yeah, you already... Oh, yeah. Here's the awakened fruit. There is one new awakened fruit. I'm not going to do it in this video. I'm going to make my own video on it. That's good to know I can do it here. I like how I predicted that this was going to be underwater just by looking at the bubble. That makes me very happy that it actually did that and I wasn't wrong. <laughs> I'm going to find all the secrets. I'm determined. Is it just the one island? It might just be the one island. Let me fly up into the sky and see. Oh, yeah. I don't see anything. This might actually be it. A good way to tell is if what's the highest level NPC. Ooh, there's a read. Story Enigma, Story 6. Yeah, there are, there's a story in this game, by the way. I don't think I've ever shown any of them in the videos, but there is a story. I bet this is the new boss, because I know there's a new boss. I don't know how long it spawns, like how long till it actually spawns. Really cool. What are you? Strange Coral, Fallen Dark Hero. Okay, so that's probably for a quest. Anything cool in here? What are you? You're another daily quest. Level 3000. Puzzle easy. Solve Kraken's Codex. Why would they put a level 3000 quest in the level 4000 area? Oh, here we go. Uh, here's the NPCs for training fighting stuff. Styles. There's a door here. Can I get in this door? I can. Well, there's nothing in here. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> we go back to home. Yeah, it looks like it's all on one island, considering all the NPCs go up to the max level. A uh, story of origin. Yeah, there's a bunch of books all over the place that have like an NPC and like a picture. Oh my god, this is just the developers. <laughs> they're, 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 those are just the pictures of the developers. Interesting. Okay, that's kind of funny. I want to figure out this codex thing because it gives experience. I like I like experience. Is it you? Mysterious guard. Oh, huh? Moon like fallen moon shrine or something heroic dark knight nope savior dark right that makes no sense knight of the fear he fearful heroic fallen savior shrine nope fallen heroic savior no nope. fearful shrine dark english is good wait a second I, I have an idea i must speak to the bush you said three words right fallen dark heroic three words i'm a genius fallen dark heroic i'm a genius levels can i talk to you again and get another quest no okay so i can't i think i think that's literally it for that puzzle is there more npcs that have that that was funny oh npc you're hidden miscellaneous you still have some growing up to do okay so i need a higher level very interesting okay so <laughs> 
Bruh. It's bizarre having a new update, not gonna lie. Yeah, this is the only island in the sea so far. Soldier headquarters is what it's called. Ooh, what's this? The mysterious forsaken trident, which has been gone for so long, awaits the chosen one. Okay, so this is probably for another quest or some kind of maybe Saber V2, because that is something new in this update. So much cool stuff in C2, but it looks like that's all of the miscellaneous NPCs that are at least not hidden inside of walls. Or maybe not. What's this? Well, achievement, how dare you step onto this realm? I didn't mean to. He's in hibernation mode. I wonder if this is a boss. Okay, cool. He's in hibernation mode. So probably another thing later. All right, well, let's go ahead. And I'm guessing start leveling up. We have 100, we have 270 something levels to go. How much experience do we get per quest? 26 million. Okay, so this should go quite fast because I'm using times two and I'm also using um EXP crowd. Let's see how many levels this one of these quests gives me. Four, five, almost six. I'll say like five per. Yeah, this should go quite fast, actually. Let's do this. We'll do this until we are... What level do we need to be for the next one? I think 450, which is a boss. I think I prefer bosses right now. Yeah, look at that. Five levels again. This is going to give so much experience. Yeah, with all the boosts, you get so much experience so fast. But there we go. 350, 4,050 already. Then go ahead and do the fugitive quest. Oh, uh, there's actually two NPC quests on here. I don't know if they've ever done that on this game. Normally they have, normally every single quest has its own NPC. But there you go. This one will give 26 million experience each. Let's see if this is, let's see if this is faster. You know, this might be slower because this boss is just so tanky. Yeah, it's tanky, but it does give a different drop. It drops coral. So I think I'm going to fight him just for the drop. Because so far, two new items, sea artifacts and corals. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to keep fighting him to make sure I get new things. Oh, I also just got pearls. Yeah, look at that. So there's pearls, coral, and sea artifacts. And there we go. 4,100, which means we can do the next quest, which is to kill four of the villagers it's not that much more experience let's see if they drop anything new i bet not because they're a boss also i just realized i'm no longer getting experience i wasn't getting any bounty from that boss either i wonder if it's a first time kill only i wonder what makes it i wonder what qualifies as getting bounty but yeah i got pearls and coral from that guy let's see if this one drops anything different okay this one's just dropping sea artifacts again i mean overall they're faster i think i, I think i'm gonna keep fighting this guy though because i have the combo down for him he's closer to the npc and also he drops better things i'm gonna bet bosses drop the cool stuff and then deep and then the mini little enemies drop the artifacts yeah there we go four thousand one hundred and fifty we're leveling really fast. The ATK, new ATK V2 mixed with flame. Very grindable. Oh, this is going to be annoying, aren't you? Okay, so the six Fishman Guardians. Let's fight them just to see what they drop, but I'm only doing this one. They are super spread apart. I can already see this being a nightmare. Oh, that one dropped a shark fin. Oh, these might be, I might need to fight these unless the Fishman Kingsguard drops it too. I'll hope he does because these guys are going to be a nightmare to actually grind effectively. I mean, you don't, I don't need that many levels, but like, yeah, that's a lot of health. That's another uncommon drop. I wonder if they have a rare drop too. Well, that wasn't too bad. Um, it's not that much more experience though. Like it really isn't because this one right here gives 28.2 and fugitive drops 26.8 so it's only 2 million less so that is a little bit like over time that like is a lot more but the amount of time i spent on fugitive is way less overall so we are gonna farm him instead until uh, another 50 levels so we can do the deep one also is it bad that i'm just killing these guys with fire and knives like i'm actually just cooking them that is what's going on right now this is kind of dumb okay 4200 or up to 4000 sword again 300 more to go and now we can kill the deep one let's see how difficult he is what's he look like too oh my god <laughs> Oh my god! That is incredibly dumb looking. I love it. Okay, let's kill it. Oh, he's kind of weak. Yo, why are you so weak though? He's weaker than the other last boss. Heck yeah, I approve. Like, this dude's easy. Awesome, we dropped shark fins. That's good. We can start farming those up, I guess. Hopefully that's not a bug because that is incredibly easy. Also, I did get bounty only for the first kill. So these bosses, they either have a timed bounty where you can only get bounty, like let's say, like every 12, 24 hours. Let's say that. Or they're entirely based on the first kill only then you never get it again that is stupidly easy i also watch your step every movement of yours shall lead to destruction within you movement interesting there's another little npc right there i barely saw because i saw the fin that i barely saw the outline oh by the way there's also armament levels or stages i don't know how to unlock them yet but they do have increased damage i think or maybe it's defense i don't remember but the update log said something about the fact that different stages are better and there we go already have enough levels for the next npc 
We're at 4250. Now we can kill the fish king's guard. Is you as easy? You are. What's with that one boss? Why is it so tanky? It's probably because of his drop. So I think he might be the only guy that drops those pearls. That's probably why he's so tanky because he's actually like, you need to fight him for stuff. Interesting. I'm glad I fought him for a bit at least while leading levels. Got some coral and pearls out of him. Yeah, this is even easier because he's closer. Like, that is actually just easier. And this should be the last kill. There we go. We're now max level again. So yeah, that's what you can do with your points now. I do hate... The, the one thing I do hate about this update is that I have no points in the melee anymore. I either have to have a deep up sword, fruit, or health to have melee, or I could just have zero melee at all. So like, melee is kind of useless now. For me, at least, like, I do... There, there's positives and negatives. Negatives, I can no longer use my repair function when I'm fighting bosses. Positive, players that do the Electro, Soul Cane, and Rumble Fruit combo are overall gonna be weaker because either their sword's gonna do less damage, their fruit's gonna do less damage, or they're just no longer gonna be allowed to do it anymore. Or they're gonna have less health, which makes them easier to kill. All those make them, all those make them easier to kill. So that is a massive positive. Is there's no longer gonna be the people just combo stunning like you like crazy and dealing damage now they gotta choose because a thousand points is quite a bit to steal from any of these stats even if you split between the three now there is supposed to be a boss in the sea and there is a new now there's supposed to be a brand new boss in this sea i think it has something to do with the castle in that one room i got into there's a brand new awakening and there's also two new fruits which i will be showing off in different videos but yeah c3 is pretty awesome I'm excited to see hopefully more updates soon because the sea's pretty empty from what i can tell most people aren't gonna spend a lot of time here unless they're doing the new bosses awakenings or if they just want to pvp amongst max out players and try PM people trying to level up. <laughs> That's probably the only reason you see people here and you see people here early. But there are, I totally forgot, there are a bunch of codes to enter, including one that just came out that would have been nice a, min a couple minutes ago for me. Because I've, I've so far, I spent an hour leveling up essentially. But we have update five, which gave me five copper keys. I'm not going to use it in this video. Um, then I can do YT 10K for 30 minutes of experience boost. That would have been nice. I shouldn't have used that just now. Either way, um, I actually didn't even notice that code existed till just now, but that did exist earlier. I probably should have entered it instead of using my boost. But there's also update five silver keys, which gives you a silver key. Experience doubling, which gives you another 30 minutes of experience. So that would have been my hour. That would have been nice if I knew if I actually did that. And then there's also this very simple code here. Yep, enter that code. That gives you a, a stat reset. So if you messed up your stats, enter that. I personally am gonna wait because I'm gonna wait till people like have like, oh yeah, make sure you wanna do this stat set because it'll be much better. I'm gonna wait till those people like that. Uh, so I don't know how I missed this room, but there's a room below this building right here, the spawn area, and like all the things are in here. You got fruit merchant, you got titles, you got auras, you got all of us in here. How did I miss this? Oh, the sword lord has vent. Ooh, where? I think this boss spawns in like every hour. I wanna fight it. This will be how we end off the video. I bet he's up here. Yeah, look at that. Lord of Sabre. He's level 8,500. How much health does he have? He has three points. He has the most health in the game. 3.75 million. Look at that. And he spawns every hour. I can't only get in here by glitching. I'm going to do that. I don't know how you're supposed to get here normally. I will do that in the video where I can do that. But let's see how well we can do against this guy. Oh, my lord. Can you do more damage? Boy, look at my health. It's gone. Oh, I know how you get through that door. You break it. Look, that's how you do it. Cool. So I don't, I don't have to glitch through it. I'm a genius. I died already. Holy jeez, this guy's going to be a pain. I want to fight him, though. I'm killing this guy. It's happening. Oh, well, they also spawn legacy fruit here. One second. Distract, distracted. I want to see what my first legacy fruit is at the update. First legacy fruit of the update is a draft fruit. Awesome. <laughs> Question, can I just blow it up with my fly? I can. Cool, cool. But I, gotta waste, I don't have to waste an ability to get in here then. Oh, my lord. He goes through it, though. He goes through my observation. Okay, this guy is the definition of a pain. He shreds through all your observation in one hit. I wonder if I can dash out of the way of his attack. I can. Okay, cool. Yeah, look at that. My lord. He's so... This guy is brutal. Merely existing in his presence is a bad idea. My gosh. Sounds cool though. Whatever his attacks are. That has to be that has to be Saber V2. Saber V2 sounds amazing. So at this rate, I gotta die like 20 more times and I will win. Unless if he misses that first attack, then you can dash out of the way of it. Yeah. Not that one though. That one he just doesn't care. Nope. He's mean. Well, that's a shame. Okay, so I can't so you can't solo it. 
The dude is incredibly tanky. So definitely when I do the Saber video, because that's definitely Saber V2. That thing is brutal. And from what I can tell, you have about 20 minutes to kill him. I think that took me, that was like 20 minutes of fighting. I'm not too disappointed I lost, because I had a feeling I probably missed something before I fought him that I need to do. I can probably talk to you now. What do you, what do you have to say? That's what I'm going to do. I still can't talk to you yet. So there's still a lot of stuff that I don't know about. And I bet a lot of players don't know about yet. Like what is this oh a little hidden area i bet this is saber v2 but i don't i'm not worthy enough to do it yet see hidden stuff all over the place i just found this very interesting okay cool so yeah you'll be seeing all that in future videos so far really enjoying this update a lot of fun